Hello magical box lovers and welcome to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 47 years old and I live here in still raining, still cold and miserable Derbyshire. Yay! Yesterday it was 27 degrees, nice and hot. Today it's the 1st of August, it's Lammas and it's cold, it's rainy. So that's it, summer's gone. Hey, <laughs> we've got winter. <laughs> Never mind, welcome to the UK. <laughs> right, so what you've come for today is one of my oracle decks. So as you know, with my oracle decks, I always say that I'm simply showing and sharing my decks rather than a review. That's because I am not a professional reader in any way, shape or form. I am new, I still say I'm new and a beginner to tarot and oracle decks. That's because I only read for myself and my husband. I don't read for any other people. I'm not a professional reader by any means. I still read a guidebook. You know, I still have to ref refer to those guidebooks and I forget the meanings. So I am not a professional reader in any way, shape or form. So that is why I always say... I am simply sharing and showing my latest decks because I don't have that type of in-depth knowledge like what a professional reader has and people who do just review tarot and oracle decks because they have such an in-depth knowledge about those decks and about the creators behind these decks. Um, so that is why I do not call my videos review videos because I do not feel qualified to call that. So, it may be in years to come that I do feel that I am able to say that, but at the moment I do not feel that I'm able to call myself a reviewer of, of tarot and oracle decks. Here we go. So, I am simply sharing and showing. So, this is my Wisdom of the Wild Things oracle deck. Anybody who knows me will understand why I bought this deck. It's yes, the fly agaric on her head. I am absolutely obsessed with fly agarics or amantias as they're also called. The little red toastals, you know, the little fairies uh, toastals. I absolutely adore them. I love mushrooms, toastals, anything like that. But that one in particular, I am obsessed with. So when I saw this for sale and I saw this with the little girl on the front holding a little snail, it was a Helen deck. I had to have it. So, yeah, <laughs> even if it's just for the one card, I had to have it. And then when I saw what the other cards looked like, I'm like, it looks very much like a whimsical deck, something that intrigued me. Um, I haven't got the other deck, you know, the where the well things are. But I remember reading, um, you know, the book where the wild things are uh, years and years ago um i actually did work experience at a school uh, and it was a, you know one of the books that i had to read um at this uh, this infant school to the school children was you know well where, where the wild things are um so yeah i remember that story so yeah super interested in this so can't wait to can't wait to have a look at it so as usual i have not uh, had a go with the cards i like to save the cards to show you first uh, so yes i'm itching to use them so on the back of the deck it says wisdom of the wild things oracle deck and book set a uh, legendary author one showed us where the wild things are while you can search the pages of story, climb the mountains and swim the oceans of our planet to seek them out, the original wildlings live in the realm of Psyche. If you hear any crunching noises in the background, it's my dog George, he's just having his dinner. <laughs> Critters of all shapes and sizes dwell there and our lives are better if we seek to discover and understand them. Use the oracle cards and the lushly illustrated guidebook to discover the wildlings of your own inner forest of psyche. Dare to join the wild rumpus. Rumpus? That's a word I haven't used before. Rumpus. Set includes 
45 silver gilt edged cars with a 112 full colour guidebook. That's George having a drink now. And organza drawstring pouch. And it's a US game systems um, deck. So I bought this from Amazon as I mainly do with all my decks. As you know, I try and steer clear of Etsy or other <laughs> other places where you can get uh, more expensive tarot and oracle decks because I don't want to me melt my credit card. <laughs> Here we go. Right, so uh, I forgot to mention who it was created by. So it's written by Angie Sullins and the artwork is by Eva Bon Eva. So it opens up like this. So I loved this fancy opening. I thought that was really, really cute. So it's like a bit like the uh, snap open. Now, one thing that I did think let it down was the organza baggy. I did think that they could have provided a bit of a fancier bag rather than just an organza bag. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. You know, it, it, it's there. But it would have been nice to have had like a proper tarot bag rather than an organza one. Um, but there again, it, like I say, it's better than nothing. Okay, so that, that's what you get with it. So this saying here, it says, There remains a remnant of wild magic in this world. Seek it and you will find it. Seek it with all your heart and you will one day become it. I love that saying. So let's get the guidebook out first. There we go. So I haven't actually got the cards out. So I will probably have to, can I? Ah, yes, I can, I think. I normally have my little scissors. Just excuse me. I normally have my little scissors. Um, on hand but I, th I thought I'd open this so you can see I, I saved them for you I think George has finished having his uh, dinner now <laughs> he's been in his, in his bed all day just bear with me whilst I break into them there we go that's it a lot easier with scissors guys <laughs> Okay, so I'll just pop that to one side. So I'll pop the cards back in there. I do love that. Oops. Okay, so I'll just pop that there. Let's have a little look at the guidebook. So the guidebook looks like the front cover. So it gives you a good introduction about the deck and about the woodland creatures love that absolutely love that safe travels my friend welcome to the wild rumpus of soul and it tells you how to use the deck Oh, they're beautiful. I love robins. Uh, we've got two robins actually on our who visit my garden uh, daily, which is quite rare, as you know. We normally just only get the one, uh, but yeah, I've got two robins. And then we go, we jump straight into the card. So you have the card picture and then the explanation. Yep, there we go. So I'll just quickly flick through because I don't want to spoil what the cards are. But it looks like every now and then we get like a poem. So that was just a poem. Yep, yeah, there's like another poem there. So there's no reversals. Look at that artwork. I love that. I, 
I really enjoy the artwork. That's what drew me to it. So that's the artist. My name is Eva Torrent. Uh, artist name Eva Bon Eva. And that is the author Angie Sullins. And there's some more support there. And there's another book that you can choose to buy. And there we go. So that's the guidebook. Oh, I love him. So the guidebook looks really, really cute. Oh, look at that. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's reminding me of a fairy deck that I had. That is it by Brian Fold. I can't I can't remember the name. Uh, it was a fairy oracle deck. A really old deck. Um and it's just that, that style of artwork. Um just make sure that isn't a card. No, that, that is the back uh, of the box. So really nicely presented. Like I say, to me, it's only that. That seems to let it down. I would have liked something else, you know, like a proper baggy. But that's that's just me being a bit nitpicky. All right, let's look at these edges. So the edges are, it's like a steel grey, I would say. Steel grey rather than silver, I'd say grey. And oh, look at those! Like a fennec fox. So they are done like it could be a reversed, but they don't give reverse meanings. Little cute faces. Beautiful they've done. So are we ready for these beautiful cards? Oh, look at these. So I'll I'll say the name and the number. So number one, beginnings. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Number two, communion. Number three, invite your monster to tea. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Oh, number four, be yourself. Number five, transition. Number six, play. Number seven, let yourself be carried. Number eight, Remember the bones. Number nine, Bravely Girl. Got my favourites there, look. Number ten, this is rightly so, it's Laughter Heels. <laughs> Got that octopus there. Number eleven, Intentional Stillness. That was beautiful. I love that, you know, when it's snowed, you do get that stillness, don't you? And that is what I think that's trying to portray there. It's beautiful. Number 12, get untangled. I'm, I'm loving the rich imagery here. This one, oh my goodness. Bring on the haggitude. Love it. Number 13. 14. Harvest. Now that is a Samhain card that you could use that as an altar card. Uh, number 15, Retract. Beware the happy toxins, number 16. Whoever, uh, the person that created this deck has got a wicked sense of humour. I just love it. I love it. It reminds me very much similar to, you know, the Deviant Moon creator. It's got that sense of humour, you know. Number 17, protect your boundaries. Love that with the frog on top. Number 18, conjure your magic. 
I'm loving this deck. Number 19. Listen to the music of your soul. Gratitude of forgiveness. Number 20. And that is uh, what's on the front cover. Oh, it's cute. Listen to the little creature in your belly. <laughs> I've got a big creature in my belly. <laughs> Number 21. How cute is he? Bloom in the mud, number 22. She's beautiful. I'm just loving each one of these cards. Restore the innocence, number 23. Alchemize pain, number 24. Don your witch hat, number 25. Love that. Unconditional self-acceptance, 26. <laughs> I like this one. 27, mind that monkey. <laughs> Beware the shame creature, 28. Here's your do-over, 29. So there's, there's some fun cards in here but then there's some heavy hitting cards that's that really hit home you know really i'm loving it number 30 take action it's like a, a crazy unicorn there cultivate story number 31 guard the nesting ground number 32 Embrace effortlessness. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Number 33. Light the candle of grace. Now, I love how they've got that. I know it, it looks a bit weird, but I love how they've got it like it's melting, like a candle would melt. Really well thought out, that one. Honour your body as friend. Yep, that's a very good message, that. That's 35. Ah, Remember the wobby. How cute is that? <laughs> oh, I love this one. This is like an affirmation card of the day to make me smile. Quiet the anxiety monster. Now, as you know, I suffer from anxiety. I'm going to start, when I feel anxious, thinking of this, because when I think, that just makes me smile. I might even take a screenshot of this, so you know when I'm feeling, feeling anxious, I can then look at that on my phone and use it as like a way of calming down. Because that just makes made me just smile and giggle when I saw that. I think that's awesome. I love that. <laughs> He's brilliant. I love him. Number 38, focus. Number 39, remember who you are. Oh, now this is like what's on the back. So, navigate with flow. It is, it's Fennec Fox, isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Allow anger. As Elsa says, let it go. <laughs> Bury your dead. She's got little vampire fangs. Tend to your partnerships. Quest into the subconscious. And lastly, I am so envious, I want this necklace. Welcome the unwelcome. I want that necklace. She's like a Medusa, isn't she? A Gorgon with the snake hair. I absolutely 
I'll pop that underneath just in case anybody doesn't like it with the snake representation. I absolutely love that deck. I like how it's a little bit, little bit, bit on the whimsical side, but it's serious as well. Because I was like, when I ordered it, I was like, is is it like for children this deck? You know, because of where the wild things are. But it it could be from like any age group, really. You know, it can be from like a, a younger person could use this to like my age group could use this. You know, um, you can't really just say it's like a certain age group because there's some heavy hitting cards in there with some deep meanings. And there's, then there's some fun ones in there thrown in. And if you've read that book, Where the Wild Things Are, I, I'm just trying to, you know, recall some, some of the story. You'll go, oh, yeah, I remember that character and things like that come to life um see i can't i can't wait to use it because like i mentioned that with that uh, anxiety card some of them are just so perfect and really 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 well thought out then it's not just you know um a deck that's just been thrown together um, it's been really well thought out and really well loved. Uh, I can feel that a lot of love has gone behind creating this deck and a lot of thought and attention. Um, and it's definitely a Helen deck because I love weird decks. I love something a bit more different. Um, I'm, I'm either all like... Unu I like unusual decks, um, you know, and and this is definitely a Helen deck. I mean, look, you know, <laughs> or I like your really dark and mysterious decks or like your Halloween-y type decks, you know. Whenever there's a deck that says Halloween Tarot or anything like that, I, I bought it, yeah. Uh, I've just pre-ordered uh, another Halloween Tarot um i think it is just called halloween tarot um i pre-ordered that so hopefully i should get that in time for Samhain. uh who knows who knows um do these cards actually fit this this bag i'm just going to try it but yeah this is my only only gripe is the bag because it's to me it's not a tarot bag It's, you know, it's, it's, organza bags aren't really for tarot cards, are they? They do fit. It's there, they do fit. I just thought I'd try it. So what do we think, guys? Have you got this deck? Let me know. Have you got the other deck, the Where the Wild Things Are? Because um, there is that deck. I might get that deck. Now I've got this one because I absolutely love this one. Uh, so if this is anything like that one, I will love that one. So I'll invest in that one. <laughs> so I can't wait to start using it. I'll turn it around that way because I absolutely love that card, the Little Fennec Fox. But there's lots of cards on there that I'm going to use as alt cards, you know, like affirmations for the day. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I'm definitely going to be doing with that. So yeah, love to know your thoughts and feelings in the comment section below, guys. As always, I love hearing from you. So thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have making it. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe so that you can be notified when my latest video is available to watch because I don't release my videos on any set days or times or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, so you'll get notified with the bing or bong or whatever <laughs> when my video's available. Uh, so that's it from me. So in the meantime, please stay safe, guys. Please keep your loved ones safe and I hope you have a magical day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Bye.